Hello and welcome. Before this video officially starts, there are a few things that we would like to address. The first of which you may notice that I am not dressed like you are used to seeing. Let me make this perfectly clear. This is not a costume. It is called a kit. And the reason for that is I am not trying to pretend to be something I am not. What I am doing is informing you in the most accurate and respectful way that I know how. Throughout this whole video, that is all we are doing, is we are passing along information in the most respectful and genuine way that we know how. Do you speak English? Ah, uh, I am called Sinning Goat. I see you are a trapper like me. Of course, I'm guessing you're pretty new to the hills and forest here if you don't understand Native American Sign Language. Well, it's been a while since I've seen a friendly face, so I'll tell you what, I'll, I might as well just teach you a little bit, get a little company out of it. So t today I'll teach you some of the basics if you want to learn it, and well, if you want to come back in a couple days, say Wednesday, we can go over it in a little more detail. So come on back to camp with me. What's that you said? Why do you need to know Native American Sign Language? Well, let me make something very clear to you. Yes, we call it Native American Sign Language, and one of the reasons for that is, out of all the different tribes there, well, there must be over 500 different languages. And Native American Sign Language was developed so that all of us could communicate peacefully in trade, trapping, by the different tribes, but also by white long hunters and trappers and traders like us. So come on with me and I'll teach you some basics today. All right, here we are back at my camp. Nice comfy place. Well, might as well. Now didn't I promise you I was gonna teach you some signs? All right, I guess I better get to it. Well, let's start with one that you're going to be using pretty often, and that's to trade. So the signs you need to know for that are, question, you want trade with me. That's going to be what you sign to someone when you first see them. And as it sounds, it's, you're asking if they want to trade with you. So let's go over it again. Question, you want trade with me. Now, something you need to know about this is, I didn't say the word, do you want to trade with me? See, a lot of them educated folks say a lot of words that don't mean a whole lot. We just cut those out completely and get right to the point. Seems pretty simple here. Question, you want trade with me? Now, let me explain the signs a little bit here. Question? Why are you asking a question? Simple as that. But tr trade, here's one item, here's one item, and you are passing them to each other, going to the elbows. Now, don't get sloppy with your trades. Don't go like this, because that's a completely a a different sign. Make sure to start with them standing, because here's the sign for man and trade. It's two people trading items. With me. Question, you want trade with me. 
All right, well, I want you to do it with me now. I explained it to you, so let me see you do it. Question, you want trade with me. All right, that looked all right, but let's do it again. Question, you want trade with me. Yeah, that, that one looked better. Okay? Now, how about this? I'm going to say the words, and you sign them. Question. You want trade with me. Okay. Now, now I'll do it with you now. Question. You want trade with me. Getting better, getting better. Question, you want trade with me. Okay, one more time, but I'm going to sign it without saying it. All right, well, after you ask them if they want to trade with you, I suppose you should probably know if they say yes or no. So let me go over that with you. Yes, it's very simple. Finger, hand upright, fingers closed, index finger pointing up, bottom of the hand facing out. And they're gonna curl their pointer finger in, just once. If they do it multiple times, that's just saying yes, 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 yes. And let me tell you this, they don't, not normally that excited when they reply. But if they say no, it's going to be a flat hand, palm down, starting on the left side of the body, swinging outwards and flipping over to palm upright. Going to look like that. So it's going to be, you're going to ask a question, you want trade with me? And they're either going to say yes, or they're going to reply no. Something you might want to know in trading is numbers, how to ask how many. Or if you want to trade for this coyote pelt I got here, but you wanted more. Well, for that, I'm going to send you off to a trader who taught me how to sign, Chandler Douglas. Hello. I am called Chanter. Today, I'm going to give you an understanding of Native American Sign Language numbers. The numbers start very simply by counting single digits on your single digits. We start with your right hand and you begin on the pinky. Uh, there are, at Frontiers Camp, we start in this direction, kind of with your hands downward. There are some Native nations and some regions where it was more common to have the fingers pointing upwards. We've just followed a, a different tradition um, and have them downwards. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It does take some practice for some folks, uh, especially those of us who are right-handed, to get that left hand, get those individual fingers working separately and independently. I don't know any other way except for doing it over and over and practicing, just like any other skill. So, show me what the number four would look like. Remember, it starts on the pinky, so four is like this. How about eight? Show me what eight would look like. Is that what you got? Now, when you're trading, the, the single numbers are assumed to be pennies or cents. So, for fireworks, eight cents. If you have no other context or you haven't been told otherwise, you can assume that the single digits are cents. Seven. Three. Show me what six cents would look like. How about nine cents? Sign nine cents for me, please. Nine. I prefer to start with the pinky and kind of roll them out. 
it is perfectly acceptable to just stick out the correct number of digits all at once. Personally, I think it has a nice dramatic flair. It just flows nicely. It's a stylistic issue. So that'll cover you from one to nine. What if you want to buy something that costs more than nine cents? Well, it's almost like it's nearly the 4th of July or something. Well, just as with our written number system, nine is, high, is as high as you can go with a single digit. And if you want to get to 10 or higher, you need a, another way of doing it. So with Native American Sign Language, we have another way of doing tens. To count tens, you actually begin with your left thumb and you slide your in, right index down that thumb for 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, switch to the right hand, 60, 70, 80, 90. It is important when you're doing tens especially to leave the fingers out long enough that the person you're signing with can see what you've done. It's also important, you want to try to have, be pretty careful with your aim and go in order, 90. I have seen some folks get a little confused and they kind of jump around and go back. Uh, it gets a little confusing if someone spent more than six times or seven times or eight times on one hand. Um, I tend to get little puzzles as to what they mean. So try to be deliberate, just as when you are speaking, if you're gonna have a transaction and you're negotiating a price, you don't wanna mumble your signs and more than you wanna mumble your words. Try to be clear and enunciate 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. If you miss a finger and you don't actually touch it, that's okay. They don't have to know if you made contact. What they wanna know is, you're making this direction that tells me it's tens, not singles, and you start on the thumb, and then when you're done, you stop and you hold out eight, that tells me you've done 80. And if you wanted to, uh, you don't have to count by, entirely by tens, of course, you can get 83, which simply would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, leave it for a moment, and then three. You can see why it's important to leave your tens out long enough to get a real clear count. I usually look at the eyes of the person I'm speaking with or signing with to make sure that they've seen both hands and then give the five. If I go too quickly, it's hard to see how far I got on the tens before I started flashing out my singles there. So try again, try to be deliberate. So uh, I'm gonna sign a couple of numbers. I'm gonna see if you can figure out what I'm signing. Here we go. I'll give that to you again. Same number. What do you think that was? Did you guess 65? I hope so. I'm gonna give you one more and then I'm gonna have you sign some for me. Here's another number. One more time, same number again. What did you get? Did you get 87? That's what I was going for. Now you sign some for me. What would it look like if you were to sign 78 cents? Go ahead and sign 78 for me. Remember the tens start on your left thumb. 78, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, eight. What about 13 cents? Show me 13 cents. Pretty quick on that one. 10, three, that's all it takes. Now I want you to show me the highest number you could do with what we've learned so far. Show me 99 cents. $0.99 cents takes longer to sign than other numbers, and it looks like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 9. So that's as high as you can get with what we've learned thus far. Now we need a way to break into the hundreds, and there's a simple sign that just means 100. It starts with both hands, all fingers extended, thumbs could be touching or just close to each other. Start uh, in front of your right shoulder, make an arc up and over to your left. 
That's 100. Here it is again. 100. And since the default will be talking about pennies or cents, then 100 pennies is equal to $1. It's best for clarity, if you want to say $1, to say $1. Those of you who've been to Frontiers Camp before might notice this is a little different than how we used to do things. Uh, we've done some more research on historical ways and also updated for modern prices, shall we say. So this sign functions very much like the spoken word dollar when you're reading off numbers, or like your decimal point when you're writing them. For example, if I, wanted, if I just said three, that would normally be three cents, unless I add the sign for dollar and say three dollars. Or I could say 10, 20, 37 dollars. Those of you who are used to the old way can see how much faster that was than signing $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, all the way up to 37. So the new method would be to simply sign 10, 20, 37, and then the sign for dollar. That means 37 dollars. So you show me what it would look like if you wanted to sign seven dollars. Very simply, seven dollars. If you do want to sign one dollar, I would strongly recommend signing one dollar. It's uh, if you just just sign dollar, just when as if as if you were speaking out loud. If I went into a store and said, "I'll give you dollar for that," probably means one. Not real clear. You want to be clear when you're conducting a transaction. Of course. You don't have to go solely in, in dollar increments. You could have 13.75, which would be 13 dollars and 75 cents. So you simply use the sign for dollar as the punctuation, as that decimal point between the number of dollars and the number of cents. So we talked about 37 before. If we had 37 dollars and 50 cents. I'm going to give you one uh, an amount and I want to see if you can figure out what amount I'm signing. I'll show you that again. Eight dollars and nineteen cents. All right, now it's your turn. Show me how you would sign twenty-two dollars and sixty-eight cents. Twenty-two sixty-eight. Go ahead. Sign along with me. Let's see if we have the same thing for twenty-two sixty-eight. Here we go. Then twenty-two dollars and 68 cents. All right, I'm going to give a couple more. I'll sign one that you have to tell me the amount of, and then I'll have you sign for me. Here's a big one. You ready? That was a lot. I'm going to give it to you one more time. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure you caught my little mistake there. Did you notice that I almost went too far, and that's why I wanted to make sure I stopped and held out my sevens? Let me give it to you a third time so that I don't make that same mistake, I hope. 20, 30, 40. Did you get 
$85.79. All right, now your turn. Show me how you would sign $13.85. Thirteen eighty-five. Go ahead. Now I'm going to do it. Sign along with me. See if you have the same thing. Thirteen eighty-five. All right. You're doing great. You've just learned all the numbers you're going to need to trade at Frontiers Camp or count anything else. One more piece I want to give you today, and that would be how to ask the question, how much? So to do that, you start with the sign for question, which could be any question, and then you kind of stroke the fingers, similar to like doing tens. So it's basically like saying how much numbers, and then you just point to the object that you're interested in. So you'd say question, numbers, that item. And then presumably the trader will uh, start the negotiation process. All right, great work today. Keep on signing. I'll see you later. Thanks. So now Sitting Goat taught you how to ask to trade. I've shown you the number system. And that's all you need to know to be able to trade with the trader at Frontiers Camp. We'd like to show you what that actually will look like. So we're going to do a trade right now, the two of us. And before we start, I'm going to challenge you, after I clap, to mute the audio. So go ahead and turn it on mute so that you can watch our signs and see how much you understand. Then you can always go back to where you see me clapping, turn the audio back on, and you can hear the narration and see how close you got. Let's take a look. Question. You want trade with me? Yes. Question. You called. I am called Chanter. Question. You want what I have here? Mm, that right there. Oh, you want a coyote pelt? No. Over there. That one. I see. You want a book? Yes. Question. How much that book? Hmm, let me think. Ten dollars and fifty-five cents. Hmm, wonder if I'll go lower. Ten, eleven, oh no. Start again. Ten dollars and twenty cents. Ten dollars and twenty five cents. Mm, yes, I'll take that. Yes, ten twenty five. I agree. Shake hands. Here's your book. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to like this book. Well, I think that's enough signing for today. Your signs are looking pretty good. So good, in fact, I think we should go over it just one more time. First thing you would say is, question, you want trade with me? And they are either going to say yes or no. And then if they say yes, and after you're in the trade, you pick out what you want, then you might start talking prices. Let's say, for example, you want this skunk hide, and, oh, I don't know, how about this trap? Well, I might give you a price such as... You understand that? Well, let's go over it together. 10, 20, 30, 300, meaning dollars, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
five cents. Yeah, I would say that's enough for today. I welcome you to come, hey, get a little visitor to wrap up today. Well, I welcome you to come back Wednesday for the live Zoom session. I'm looking forward to see what questions you can come up with to ask me, and we can go over it in more detail and depth about signing then. See you then.